If it's this seal, it's going to be running down here. Okay? Quad seal, it's going to wind up both places. Okay? What's a quad seal? All right. Give me the pick out of the tool. The drain plugs leak, but the primary gasket itself, I very rarely ever see any trouble there. As far as where the primary goes on to the engine, I don't see problems there. Okay, they got that nice O-ring, it's a good fit. Usually, the problems are back here. So, when we pull the cover off, always look the highest and the furthest forward when you're looking for an oil leak. Okay, if you're in doubt, put that doggone dye into the oil, go ride the bike, come back. These little lights, or I've got one that's got a, a snake piece on it, will turn the fluorescent dye a purple or a bright green. And that way you can actually trace it. Don't be guessing at this stuff because it's a three and a half hour job to pull one of these things down and put it back together, right? On the school bike? This is the quad seal. Okay? Can I see the spacer, Paul? Okay. This makes a difference which way this goes back together, gentlemen. Oh, yeah? Okay. The chamfer always goes in. The seal sits inside of it. What the seal does is the shaft is round down there. There's no splines. This keeps the oil from coming down the spacer. Years ago with the Triumphs, <laughs> they had the spline down. The sprocket went on the splines. And take our spacer out. Yeah. If we got oil, If I've got the back of this pulley full of oil, first thing with gear oil, say they're not running SIN 3, say they're, we smell sulfur. Primary oil don't have any sulfur in it. Okay, now, i got the whole back of this pulley full of oil. Where am I going to look? What areas do you think I'm going to have a problem in? Now, this one here, what I'm going to see, this is all dirty. The clean spots where the oil is. Okay, back a pulley full of oil. What, I have. what are what happens is the oil and coming down splatter all over this. Where that big nut has come loose. And these guys that ride them hard, especially the police bikes. Those two quarter or twenty bolts, those Allen bolts, I've seen those things sheared off. Okay, and they'll be laying in here. This thing will be all full of oil on this one side. See you. Hmm? Main seal? This seal here, main output seal. These seals, there's a tool to put them in. But I'll tell you, there's no pressure holding these in. Bend them and hold them. Yeah, these, that twiskier kit I came brought in. Remember, it had a double lip seal with it. it all, normally, what you're going to see on these, is they leak here. They don't leak inside here. The most it. Right. Lines you. Lines you. This is no the light line. If I can run my thing, I'm going to say either. No, it doesn't have anything to do with that either. Somebody shifted too hard. Nope. You got us. It was a, a miraculous uh, conception by God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say one thing. At least we're creative to solve it. Yes, it's cheap engineering. Okay. Nine chances out of ten, what happened is, is when somebody put it together, they didn't put any lube on the seal. The doggone rubber will literally cut a line in the steel. Okay. How many have done automotive work? You know, the balancer on the front of the motors. Or putting a groove worn in them from so the seal. So let me see. Rubber on that one. The rubber literally eats the seal. The seal leads into the space. Always use some foot. I don't know what goes on. 